All right, the starting lineups there for the Georgia Highlands Chargers. We've got our usual uh, lineup there. Number 30, Cameron Baldwin out of Alatoona High School in uh, Ackworth, Georgia. He's a freshman, uh, forward rather, and sophomore. And also uh, we've got uh, Jakim Payne out of uh, Douglasville, Georgia, out of Alexander High School. Jaquan Nelson uh, from Rome. He uh, uh, graduated from Alexander High School as well. Mohamed Conte from the Bronx, Northern Oak Community College and Wings Academy. And Kamani Hopkinson, number seven out of Lauder Hill, Florida, Lincoln University and Dillard High School. So there we go. It is uh, time for the Chargers to take the court as we get ready to tip off the nightcap here at the corral at Georgia Highlands College. Chargers are gonna take the uh, tip as Payne. Point guard gives it over to uh, Nelson. Back around. Hopkinson back to Nelson. Inside to Conte. Conte's floater, no good. Rebound, South Georgia. They work it around. Drive inside the middle. A little hop step, no good. Chargers come down with the ball. Uh, he's swinging around the horn. Hopkinson, he's going to drive inside, tries a little bit, a little jumper, fade away, no good. And that's going to be a rebound to Zusa. Kicks it out to Kent. Gets across the timeline, back down to Kent on the near wing. Looking for a screen. Hands it off to Johnson. Johnson takes a dribble to the left. Passes back off to Kent. Off the foot of a charger, and it's a bounce pass. Nelson. No good, but Conte is there to clean it up. Nelson had a little floater that missed the mark, and Conte was there to take, take care of the rest of them. And they come out with uh, first blood. A lot of pressure by this uh, Charger defense. And now, wide open baseline, three-pointer is good. That's going to be in Cam uh, Cameron Johnson. Hits that one for the Jets. Payne, going on the far side. Gets a screen from Baldwin. Baldwin, another screen. Brings it back over to the near side. Kicks it back over to Evans. Or Nelson, excuse me. And the corner to Baldwin, and his layup is no good. Battle underneath, Tompkinson has it, and it's going to be a backcourt violation. Or Hopkinson, excuse me. Backcourt violation on the Chargers. Kent with a basketball for South Georgia. Goes left, tries the three on the right side, and that's up and no good. The battle for the rebound underneath. Reverse layup, no good. Payne comes down with the ball for the Chargers. Over to Nelson. 20 on the shot clock, goes baseline. Tries to get it to Baldwin across Sways, and it's going to be out of bounds. 17 on the shot clock as the um, Chargers are going to inbound it underneath. Payne's going to take the ball from the official. Goes out to Hopkinson. No good. And somebody, there definitely is a lid on the basket tonight. I, the women's game, it was. The most aggravating thing for them when I nice shot. All right, still, layup's good. That is Jaquan Nelson, coast to coast. 4-3 now, Chargers out in front. Johnson with the basketball for the Jets. Goes down low to Nazusha. Pass, no good, shot, no good. 
And here come the Chargers. That was a pretty good pass, though. I got to tell you that. It just uh, was a low bounce. Had a hard time. Turnaround jumper off the backside of the rim. 4-3. The Chargers are out in front here in the first half. 16-minute mark. Long three by Kent. No good. They battle for the rebound. Baldwin saves it and gets it into Nelson as he hits the deck. Oh, wow, a pass from, uh, from Nelson. And there's gonna be a travel. There's gonna be a travel on South Georgia, so it's gonna be Highlands basketball. Nelson's gonna go out and uh, coming into the game is gonna be uh, zero, and that is, I believe, Logan. Isaiah Logan with a basketball. He's going to give it to Hop Top Hopkinson. Layup, no good. He gets back. Complete pivot, and he gets fouled. Three opportunities. So now going to the line, Hopkinson is going to shoot. Beza McCour checks in for the Chargers. And he nails that one. It's 5-3 is the score. Here in the early goings at the corral at Georgia Highlands College Floyd campus. South Georgia Tech out of America's. One, boy, somebody just left wide open and a shot is missed. And that was a uh, good attempt by... Hopkinson to prevent, the, but he gets charged for the foul. So he's going to go to the line and shoot two. And that's out. Got a pretty good crowd here tonight, uh, both the men's game and now the, the, uh, the women's game and the men's game. Have some groups here tonight. And he uh, gets the second one. It's 5-4. Chargers are in the lead. You can't see the uh, home side of the stands. It's uh, pretty full. The visitor side's pretty good. Wow, lost control. That, that was awkward. And now there's going to be a foul, a grab retaliation foul. That's going to be on zero. I believe that is, uh, he's not on my roster, but I believe it is Logan. Yep, Logan gets called for that one. All right, first media timeout at 14.55. And the hometown Chargers are out in front, 5-4. This is Charger Basketball Network. Georgia Tigers, uh, Georgia, Georgia Highlands Charger basketball. There we go. Brought to you apart by Lindell Ace Hardware, home of Hesparna. Sales, service, and so much more. United Community Bank, the bank that service built, and Atrium Health Floyd. Just a few of the supporters of Georgia Highlands Charger Athletics. And we thank you for your support. 
Also, if you've got a group you want to bring on out to the game, hey, just uh, give them a call here at the athletic department at Georgia Highlands. Send them an email. You can go on the website, highlands.edu, georgiahighlands.edu, and you can uh, get connected with the athletic department and find out all the information on bringing a group out. You got a youth team or church team, that'd be great. Come on out and enjoy some Charger basketball. Underneath South Georgia going up, a floater, no good. And there's a foul underneath. That is uh, Dante Williams is going to be shooting. Jason Jones gets charged for that foul. John Jones brings the ball down for the Chargers. Loses control of the basketball. That one got way too close to the timeline. Gets it back out to Logan. Isaiah Logan. Being heavily guarded by Justin Evans. Conte trying to penetrate. Nothing doing. Back out to Jones. Now over to Payne. No good. In and out. All tied up at five apiece here in the first half. Spin move no good. Going to dish it off to the low man. He gets his own rebound. Good defense. Abraham is just refusing to give up. But the second one gets in. Jones is going to hand it off to Payne. Jake Kim Payne brings it across the timeline for the Chargers. And that's going to be a foul against uh, Deontay. Williams got a little elbow shove there. Now checking into the game is, let's see, we've got uh, Jaquan Nelson coming back in. Giovanni Yukbla comes into the game as well. Giovanni with the basketball, far side. He's gonna dribble, gets it, he loses control of the basketball. Out of Jones's hands, and here come the Jets. They're up 7-5. Fake behind the back pass, and no good. Abraham comes down with the basketball, and looking for somebody to pass it to. He gets fouled in the bat from behind, and that's going to be a foul on Williams. Deontay Williams with a foul. So it's going to be a, a loose ball foul on the floor, and it's going to be Chargers going to take it out. Giovanni is going to go down to get the inbound pass along with uh, Jaquan Nelson. Jets are in a full court press. He's across the timeline now, he picks up his dribble, gets it over to. Uh, Nelson, Nelson's gonna drive, puts it up, and ball is rejected, and he's also fouled in the body. And that is gonna be on, I believe, uh, Jeff Martinez. Or Justin Evans, excuse me. And that one hits the back of the rim. Han Ahmad is into the game. I actually had a chance to talk to Ahmad before the game, briefly out in the lobby. We're just sitting there talking. I said, either you guys are getting real tall or I'm getting real short. One of the others, these guys are huge. 6'8", 6'9", 6'10". And ball taken away. Wow, a trip. 
And Conte goes up and it's knocked out. Jones got tripped. And he looks at the official like, okay, why didn't you call that? And Elton behind the back. He's over to Giovanni. He gets a screen by Abraham. Back to Abraham, top of the key, over to Jones. Jones for three, and it's off the front of the iron. Kent comes up with a rebound. Or Justin Evans, excuse me. Evans with a rebound for South Georgia. Ball nearly knocked away by Abraham. Ahmad, floater good. Delta brings it up, knocked out of his hands, and there's a scramble for it. Giovanni gets it, and there's a hand that goes out, and that is going to be called on Justin Evans. Kind of grabbed on a retaliation file. And Nelson, let's see, is he going to inbound it, or Giovanni's going to inbound it for the uh, Chargers? Nine to six is our score here, and it's gonna be kind of wild, <laughs> wild shootout here at the Corral tonight. Unfortunately, not a whole lot of things are getting hit. The targets are missing. They are scrapping, man. Giovanni goes up, left-handed layup, and it's no good, and Baldwin is trying to come up with a rebound, and what have we got going on here? It's gonna be a, what's the official calling? Okay. I'm not real sure what the, uh, they call it offensive interference. What were they calling there on that one? Uh, offensive goal contending. I, okay. Uh, mm, all right. They obviously saw something the majority of the people in the stadium, uh, in the uh, gym did not see. Back up. Good defense by Baldwin, but Cameron Johnson comes back and slams it home. It's 11-6 game now, South Georgia Tech out in front of the Georgia Highlands Chargers. The drive, jumper off the back, no good. Tip back in, that is by Jayshon Jones. Puts that one back in. I think that's what Baldwin got called for or something about that. He hit the ball when it was still in the cylinder. Working the ball around, three point, top of the arc, good. 12-8. Conte brings it down, gives it over to uh, Nelson. Jaquan Nelson across court, wow, that was a bullet. Pass was intended for Jason Jones, and then we're at the uh, media timeout, another media timeout. This is Georgia Highlands Charger basketball on the Sports Network. Back here at the corral, Tony McIntosh with him. As it's a wild shootout here tonight, I'm telling you. Uh, we just need more things to hit the target and fall in. It, it was a rough night for the for the women's team. They put a lot of shot ups and not a whole lot going in. And uh, we're all good shots as well. Men trying to get things going up. Fast-paced game here tonight. 
against the uh, conference foe, South Georgia Technical College out of Americas. And there's going to be a travel on Ahmad. The Chargers also have an afternoon game next Saturday here at 2 o'clock. The women will be on the road. It will be a men's only game next Saturday. Nelson on the near side. Gets it back over to, actually Nelson has it now. That was Conte that gave it up. Jones on the far wing. Finds Baldwin up at the top of the key. Six on the shot clock. Nelson with it. Baldwin's wide open for three in the corner and misses everything. Wow. That would usually, that one is usually a sure, sure shot for, uh, for Baldwin. All right, we've got some, uh, Folks returning back to the lineup. Payne back into the game. Also, Hopkinson comes back in, and there's a timeout on the floor. This is Charger basketball on the Charger Sports Network. Georgia Highlands Charger basketball brought to you part by Automax Rent a Car. They travel in style, travel the way the Chargers do. When they hit the road, they use Automax. Also, Country Inn and Suites. I love this country and Rome Orthopedic Center. All right, we're back here. It is 14 8 and South Georgia Tech. The Jets have a lead right now of uh, six. Chargers still looking for that right combination, missing some shots they normally do. But they're still hanging in there. Very fast pace of a good South Georgia team. One thing the Chargers do not do is give up. They play very hard for JJ and themselves. Long pass down Ahmad. Alley-oop, no good. He misses everything. Hopkinson comes down with the rebound and gets it out to to Payne, or I'm sorry, yeah, to Jim Payne with the ball. He gets a screen from Baldwin. Nelson drives baseline. Payne wide open for a three. Now he's going to drive, uh, loses the handle on the ball. Well, that is going to be a foul. I think they're going to call this on Mahan, Mahan Ahmad. Number, take it back, it's going to be on uh, Gonna be a go to. And they're trying to get the clock. Uh, they only got the clock, right? 20 on the shot clock. 9.27 to go in the first half. Jones down low. Bounce pass. Conti. Good. And give him one. So he's going to go to the line now and shoot a uh, foul shot. Mohamed Conti. Out of the Bronx, New York area at the line for one. Making a three-point play out of this, he does. And all right, some subs wide open. Pass, pass, no, whoa, it's going to be a tripping foul. And uh, Conte got a little too much underneath Martinez as he hit the floor. Coach Merritt over there having a, a words with his team. That was a, a coast to coast with zero dribble in that inbounds pass. I think that's what he was upset about. This man was wide open at half court. 
Now coming into the game is uh, going to be the Zusa. It's going to be an inbounds underneath the basket. Bowman is going to try to throw it in, and he does to Zusa. He's going to back up against Baldwin, and that passes with Aaron. Now finds a three-point corner shot, no good. Conti with the rebound. Gives it out to Nelson. Nelson takes it off the glass and good. And here come the Jets. Battling for the rebound. Hopkinson gets it. And there's going to be a push foul. That's going to go against uh, Kamadi Hopkinson. That's his first foul. And that's going to be an inbounds. Chargers are in the bonus. Bounce pass to Aaron, no good. Conti's going to take it coast to coast and gets it off the glass. What a sweet touch on that one. Now they take a one-point lead. He goes up, challenges him, and that one falls in. Dante Williams with two. Now they go back the other way, and that is going to be uh, out of bounds. Led him a little too much. Nelson's pass to Baldwin is just out of his reach. So now Jason Jones checks back into the game. And I believe Payne as well. Good defense, 14 on the shot clock. Turns wide open in the far baseline, no good. The battle for the rebound, Baldwin comes down with it, gets it out to Nelson. Nelson stops at the foul line and sweet touch off the glass. 17-16, Chargers with a one point lead. the high post on the corner going to drive the corner loses control slides back to the big foul line shot good a little set shot I think he's about two inches off the ground when he shot that one all right Jones being challenged now he gives it over to Conti Conti tried one way now he finds Jones out top of the key over to Nelson back to Conti Payne has it in the top now. Six on the shot clock. Got to make a decision. He's going to drive, throws it up, and off the rim. No good. Clock got way low in three seconds. And that's going to be an offensive foul on Williams. Deontay Williams gets called for that violation. South Georgia Tech with a one-point lead at 646. Checking back in for South Georgia is going to be Harley Kent. Well, actually, he went and sat back down. Never mind, he, he didn't come in. Uh, let's see. Prosser. Uh, Von Prosser came in for Kent. That's what it was. Kent was just standing over there. Payne, bounce pass inside to Baldwin. Baldwin's kind of worked the baseline, comes up a little short, gets his own rebound, tries to pass it off. That is uh, Jones came down with the rebound, tried to get back to Baldwin. And there's going to be a travel. Oh, actually, he touched the uh, baseline. He took that back, that back foot he's going to push off on, hit the uh, blue line, and he was out of bounds. So Harley Kent returns, and going out is Jalen Woods. Nelson with the ball. He's at the uh, top of the key now, over to Jones. Jones goes up, rejected by Azusa. That was nasty. 
jumper good. That kind of adds the insult to injury there. And there is a foul on. Well, that was a warning, I think. I'm not really sure. Yeah, no, that was a foul on Foman. Payne trying to work his way around. Not screens, going to send it off to Baldwin. Baldwin over to Conte. Far three off the back of the iron. No good. Put back. Misses. Baldwin again. No good. Two tries is three shots and two putbacks, and they both just rolled around. And missed everything on that one. Hmm. Those hurt. Three point lead by the Jets right now, South Georgia Technical College. For the ball there, and they're red. And a dish off is going to be good by DeZusa. Inbound. Taken away, Conte just kind of threw that one to hoping Nelson was going to get it, but that did not work. Long three from the corner, that's going to be a miss. Rebound, battled far by Jason Jones. Nelson the top, Jones open for a three, he just thinks about it, and then he passes it over to Conte in the corner. 16 on the shot clock. Inside to Payne. Payne's going to drive. Get some space. Conte for three. Is it good? Yes. Two point deficit now at 4 four eleven. Johnson with the ball for, well, I'll take that Kent with the basketball for uh, over to Johnson. Moving the ball around, 10 on the shot clock. Good defense by the, by the Chargers. Four on the shot clock. Jumper, and it just rattles in. Long pass meant for Conte, and it's taken away by South Georgia. 363 to go, or 336 rather, layup. Oh, bad choice on the pass, and now it's a six point game. Within two, and then all of a sudden, a couple of back-to-backs. And now they're back up to a six-point deficit now. Conte give and go the Baldwin. It's uh, knocked out and intercepted. And now here comes Kent. Moving the ball around on the near side. Kent gets a screen. Try to do a give and go, and it's intercepted by Conti. Great hands there. Tried to get it across to closer. No whistle, but it's going to be out of bounds on South Georgia, and, and we have a timeout. So there's a timeout on the floor at 249. The score is South Georgia Tech 26, Georgia Highlands 20. This is the Charger Sports Network. This is Charger Basketball on the Sports Network. Glad to have you along here on a Saturday night at the Corral at the Georgia Highlands College Floyd Campus. 2.49 to go in the first half. The team from South Georgia, South Georgia Tech Jets out of America's uh, up 26 to 20 over the Chargers. It's been a wild game. They jumped out to an early lead, and uh, the Chargers have battled back within two. Got ahead of, for a second or two, but it's been one of those games. Keep it close. The Chargers have had pretty good success in the second half this season. 
put a majority of the points on in the second half. Both teams are playing some pretty decent defense, too. Inbound pass into Conti. Back over to Jones. Or Payne, excuse me. And that's a three attempt, and it's good. Jaquan Nelson nails the three. And now they bring it within a score. A one possession game. Chargers coming out and double team teaming. Putting a little pressure on the ball handler right now. A good switch. Moving the ball around. 12 on the shot clock. Jumper. No good. Nice rebound. That is uh, the DJ Douglas checking into the game. Floater no good. Jones had a good beat on that. Kent's going to push it down now. Underneath Ahmad, no good. Douglas battles for the rebound. And Payne just comes down right, or Jones rather, jumps up and comes down right. Martinez got up under him, and he's going to be called for the foul. Jason Jones with that one. That is going to be his third foul. Wow. So you got a uh, one that's one charger that is going to have to watch out for. Three fouls in the first half. And he misses both. Chargers come up with the rebound, being pushed down by Conti. Over to Payne, Payne back to Conti. Will look down and try to get Douglas cutting through the middle. Big three, in and out, no good. Douglas went up for the rebound. And it was taken away by South Georgia. Kent's got it now, want to go down inside, they do. Turns around, and wide open was closer. Just absolutely unchecked, and he came through for the throwdown. We'll take a timeout. This is Charger Sports Network. Georgia Highlands Charger basketball right here. Thank you so much for tuning in on this Saturday night. A minute 25 to go in the first half. Tony McIntosh with you from the corral, the Floyd campus of Georgia Highlands. Closing minute of the first half, and it's been a seesaw battle right now. The Chargers are down by five. They're trying to put something on the board here. Logan checked into the game. Now Payne has it. He's gonna go up, stops, right-handed and short hook, no good. Tap it around, trying to keep it alive. South Georgia comes away with it. Ahmad gets underneath and it's gonna be an offensive foul. And he's gonna check out the game. Coming in is, let's see. Daryl Bode, Daryl Bode comes in for the, uh, or Bod rather. All right, Payne will bring it up for the Chargers. Under a minute now. He gets a screen. He's going to drive, bounce pass to Conti, reverse layup, no good. Put back, tried by Jones. Well, just wouldn't fall for him. Whoa, he almost got his pocket picked that time by Jones. 27 seconds. 
Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound, closer, and that is going to be a foul. I believe they're going to call that on J. Kim Payne. Got him on the arm, and he is going to go to the line to shoot two. Jalen Woods checks back into the game for the uh, South Georgia Tech check, uh, Jets. Point attempt up good. Mohamed Kanji for three. And that's going to end the first half here at the Corral. Our score at halftime South Georgia Technical College Jets 29, your Georgia Highlands College Chargers 26. We'll be back with some halftime stats in just a moment during halftime. This is Charger Sports Network.
All right, just about ready here for the second half of Charger basketball here at the Corral. The Georgia Highlands College in the um, Floyd campus here at Six Mile, and uh, glad to have you along here. Tony McIntosh with you. And taking a look at some of the uh, stats, the leading scorer for the Georgia Highlands Chargers, Mohamed Conte has 15. And the uh, leading scorer for South Georgia Tech, Cameron Johnson with 12. Jaquan Nelson with eight points so far in this game, the leading top scorers of, uh, of both teams. So there we go. Everybody else in the 2-4 area. So lots of contrib uh, contributions from uh, most all the players. South Georgia Tech's gonna inbound and start the second half. And the Chargers jump out. Pretty aggressive defense. Turn around on the side and uh, underneath basket is good. And South Georgia's bench has uh, come alive. Conte. Gives it over to Nelson. Back to Hopkinson at the top. Payne on the far wing. Bounce pass inside, taken away. And behind the back pass, it's no good. Bounces around, and we're going to come over to Nelson. He's going to bring it across for the Chargers. He's going to go up. And it's, wow, they're going to say it's out on uh, Conte. He's the last one to touch it. But he and Johnson were battling for that ball pretty good. 31-26 is our score. South Georgia Technical College out in front. Jumper is going to be no good. And Conte intercepts that, but then gets it right back to Kent. 15 on the shot clock. He's a little fadeaway jumper, no good. Rebound Payne. He's going to push it down the floor himself. Holds up on the wing. Gets it back out to Nelson, underneath to Baldwin. And it's going to be out of bounds. Baldwin stepped on the line, and it's going to be a Charger turnover. Do not want to let the, the Jets get another basket here too far, especially a three. You don't want to give that up. And they're going to tee a three up right now, and that's going to be in and out, no good. Ball bounces around, Payne brings it out, Nelson's got it. He's going to lay it up left-handed, no good. And there's going to be a travel on Cameron Fullman. Campaign with the basketball for the Chargers. Over to Nelt, uh, to Conte. Gets a pick. Inside the Baldwin. Bounce pass. Oh, man. Hopkinson misses it, but it's taken back away by Nelson. No good. We crash the boards, and South Georgia comes up with it. Just some bad luck. Long three. That's good. Eight-point game now. 34-26. Hopkinson. It's good for a three. We will take that one back. 34-29. Five-point game. And the ball is taken away. And there's a foul on the floor. That's going to be against Johnson. got an intentional foul. They want to call it an intentional foul. Up, 
So the officials will confer with each other. So, now they're going to call it a flagrant one. All right, so uh, they won their argument. You know, flagrant, flagrant one, so. And that goes in and out. And now he's going to. Shoot the second one, and that is going to be off the back iron. But the Chargers will get the basketball. They're going to take it on the other side. Bring it across the timeline. Payne out in front, gives it over to Conte in the near wing. He's going to take a couple of dribbles to the top. Hopkinson has it, swings it back over to Payne. Payne's going to drive inside, bounce past to Conte. 13 on the shot clock, back to Payne. Now over to Nelson. Jaquan Nelson for three off the front iron, no good. South Georgia State grabs the rebound, brings it back across the court. And Baldwin comes up and blocks the shot. And there's going to be a, uh, well, he's holding his head right now. Lucez is okay. They're going to call it a foul. And shooting two is going to be Williams. And that one runs out. Down, Murphy's going to push it up. Gives it over to Payne on the far side. Payne's going to drive the lane. Bounce pass to Hopkinson. He lightly dunks that one in. That was a dunk light. Four-point game, 35-31. 18 on the shot clock. They're going to drive, and that one is going to go off the window. 37-31, six-point game. Payne, wants a pick from Baldwin, they gotta give it a go. Ball's tip, Nelson has it. Gets it over to Baldwin, swings it back around, Conte a fake, he's gonna go up, floater is gonna fall in. Nice little fingertip roll on that one. It's a four-point game. 15-10, mark of the second half. Pass down low, it's kicked out of bounds by Hopkinson. Checking in the game is gonna be Martinez. Making about a three, now he's going to drive the lane. Goes up, off the glass, no good. Baldwin comes down with it. Nelson's going to go up, wow. Got a bump right there, and that one just throws it up. So Kim Payne just throws the prayer up. Two-point game now, 37-35. Kim thought about a three, holds up. Far quarter. And there's going to be a foul underneath. And that's going to call that on Hopkinson. Had a hook. There's a foul on the floor. It's also a timeout. 14-33 mark. Chargers within two. This is the Charger Sports Network.
Charger basketball brought to you in part by Country Inn and Suites, Rome Orthopedic Center, and United Community Bank. Also, Atrium Health Floyd, the provider of trainers here at Georgia Highlands College. 14-33 mark here at the Corral in the second half. South Georgia State Tech, you know, South Georgia uh, Technical, excuse me, with the inbounds underneath. Aggressive defense by the Chargers it's caused a few turnovers for the Jets. They were within two. Pass thrown by Williams way over the head of uh, Broser. Baldwin's going to take it out for the for the Chargers. Payne brings it up the court. Little fadeaway jumper, no good. Muhammad tried to, I mean, there, uh, Abraham tried to grab that one and put it back. Just missed his left hand, a little short jumper, no good. Rebound South Georgia, they put it back up off the glass. But now they go coast to coast, slammed by Baldwin. Cameron Baldwin with a jam. A proverbial barn burner in the making here th tonight, here at the Corral. And there's going to be a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout, and we'll take one, too. This is Chargers Sports Network. Back here at the Corral, Tony McIntosh with the Georgia Highlands Charger basketball. Next Saturday, they'll be in action at 2 o'clock. This weekend's been a pretty active weekend at Georgia Highlands College. Uh, Wednesday, uh, the opening of the baseball, the new baseball and softball complex of the Carsville campus. And then today was Alumni Day. Baseball and softball. A pretty active day. We, we, the sports staff has been very, very busy this weekend, this weekend especially. And tonight's uh, game kind of capping a very busy sports weekend off. That's going to be a foul, a little aggressiveness by Abraham Ebezemakur. <laughs> Third time's a charm. You know, I had that. I had that really good. I just call him AB. Abraham getting some more minutes. Uh, he has uh, been improving vastly over the week, over the uh, the, uh, the years, season from uh, the beginning. Abraham snatches that rebound, gets it back out, and across the timeline to Nelson. Nelson. Wiggles his way in there, off the glass, and one. Jaquan Nelson, how in the world he got through those players, I do not know. And he did it with only two steps. <laughs> and a three-point play there. And the Chargers have a one-point lead now. 13-minute mark.
Southfield to take. Going to high post, take it away. Knocked out of the hands. Abraham gets it and gets it over to Conte. Nelts it on the far baseline. Tries to go up with a floater. No good. He gets punched in the eye. And here comes South Georgia. That was a good slowdown by the Chargers to, to make them hold up a little bit. Now they're going to work down inside, back out for a three-pointer, and that is going to be off the mark and out on Nelson. Isaiah Logan checking into the game for the uh, Chargers. Nelson's going to take a breather. Inbound underneath, they get it out to Ahmad. Long three, wow. Cameron Johnson just added to his point total there. And I believe that ball was, okay, it was knocked out, but it's still the uh, Highlands basketball. I thought for a moment there it was a turnover, but all right, Cameron's going to bring it in. A sub came in. Everybody's good. Conti gives it off to Payne. He's going to bring it across the floor for Georgia Highlands. Abraham with a screen. Gotta be careful. Gets that moving screen. Conti, top of the key. Lays up off the glass, no good, but the put back by Abraham, perfect. That's after the Jets player slapped the uh, backboard and shook it, which is supposed to be some sort of a violation, I thought. Tied up at 42 apiece. Ahmad for three, no good. Abraham battling for the rebound. And it's put back up by Williams. He lost a handle on it. And that ball is thrown out. It's going to be South Georgia ball. So some communication uh, mix up on that one. I think the ball was thrown in. And he wasn't expecting it. It was a little, little early. But it's a two-point game. A brief lead, that was good. Going to throw it long in. Someone wants a clear out. Floater, it's good. Dante gets it back over to Payne to bring it across. Now he's got it. Finds Lucas, they move it around, down low to Abraham. They reset the offense. Hey, inside Abraham, lay it up and in. Abeza McCord with a two, with a finger roll. It's a two point game again. Going down low. Loses the handle. He backs in, and that one puts that in off the glass. The physicality is showing in this game. Lots of bumping and grinding going on. Baldwin, the top of the key on this side. Ball is taken away. And that's going to go down for two. Six-point game. Going to take it in off the glass, and that's good. They're swapping baskets. Hard coaching and hard playing on both sides right now. Working down low. Now they're going to go across 
to the near side. Looking for a three, and it's up, no good off the iron. Put back, and that's gonna be good. Need to get those defensive rebounds, and uh, they get way too many offensive rebounds on the South Georgia side. Dante's gonna push it inside, and he rolls it in. So both benches are getting a bench warning right now. And they're gonna call a media timeout. Let everybody cool off a little bit. All right, wow, it's rocking and rolling here. We're talking uh, high octane basketball here at the Corral. 52 to 48 at 854. This is the Georgia Highlands Charger Sports Network. Eight fifty-four to go in the game, and you've got the four and one in the conference. The Georgia Highlands Chargers going against the five and one. Both teams with one loss in the conference. This is a huge game for both, no doubt. Right now, South Georgia with a four-point lead, going down low post. Turns working against Abraham is no good. Jones comes up with a rebound. Conte, they move around. That was uh, Payne with the rebound. Nelson gets a pick from Abraham. Give and go. Big three by Payne, and it's off the rim. Abraham coming up with the uh, rebound and a foul. He got fouled going up. The legs came out from under him. So it's gonna be on the floor and this will be inbound. Underneath the basket, Payne rolls it into Conti. Back to Nelson, long three, count it! One point game, 52-51. South Georgia Tech working the perimeter, give and go. Back door, no good. Abraham tips it out to Conti. He pushes it up. Another three, yes! Jaquan Nelson. And there's a timeout. The Chargers are charging back, 54-52. This is the Charger Sports Network. Seven thirty-nine remaining in this game. Both teams with one loss in the conference. And here we are early February and every game is as important as the next.
Both teams only one loss in the conference. South Georgia Tech trying to push it. Looking at a three, and it's going to be off the mark. 13 on the shot clock. It missed everything. The put back, no good. Abraham comes down with a rebound. He gets it out to Conti. Inside to Abraham. Turn around, jumper good. He is having a year. Abraham Abesba Kaur is just rebounding, shooting, setting screens. He's doing it all tonight. Pass was deflected. Now he's going to go inside. Now he's digging up. Thought about a three. Now he's going to drive. Take it out of his hand. Wow. That was. Jason Johnson was. Guy was passing the ball and he took it right out of his hand. Okay, no foul. Well, it was a foul. Jason Jones gets call for that one. Inbound pass. Little jumper, no good. Abraham knocks that one out. Charges with a four-point lead, 56-52. And a nice block by Jones, rebound, no good. They get it, put it back up, and it rolls in. Bowman with that one. Raquan Nelson brings it across for the Chargers. He's gonna pull it back out and set up the offense. He gets a screen by Abraham. Over to Conti, Conti's gonna drive through the lane. And it's good. Sweet kiss off the glass. Getting closer to the five minute mark now. And they're going to drive it through the lane. And there's going to be a foul. I think that's going to be on Abraham. 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 Calling for that one. And that is his second foul, only a second foul. So going to the line to shoot two is Williams, and that one is no good. The first one bounces off the back. I tell you what, every game, Abez McCour has improved incredibly from game one. He's, uh, well, one early games, he absolutely refused to, to come. He didn't want to come out of the game. <laughs> He wanted to play, and I'll tell you what, he is, the work is, is showing. That one's going to miss. Abraham with the rebound, gets it over to, to, to Conti. Oh, wow, almost lost that. Abraham with it, he's going to drive, and he gets fouled, and it's on the floor, so it's going to be out of bounds. Abraham was on a mission. He was really hoping to shoot two as well, but that's only going to be uh, on the floor foul. And that's their 13th foul. Jones going to throw it in. This is to Nelson. He's going to do it off the glass, and it rolls off the iron with a rebound. South Georgia. Charges with a four-point lead, second half. They're working around the horn. Bounce it inside to Bumadu. A little skip and no good, and there's going to be a travel on the play. And that is going to be on uh, Closer. He gets called for that travel. Baldwin wide open. Or I'm sorry, that's not Baldwin. That is Jones. Abraham, turnaround jumper, a little strong. And Abraham gets called for that one. And 
and we've got a timeout. All right, it's heating up here. Chargers enjoy a four-point lead. This is the Chargers Sport Network. All right, back here at the crowd, 5.53 to go in the game, and the Chargers have a four-point lead. Hey, listen, lots of basketball still to go this uh, season, and you should go to georgiahighlands.edu, click on the athletics page, and get the schedules. Busy in baseball, softball, and men and women's basketball. Turnout jumper is good. Mamadou adds a little extra on that one, which Working around, long three, no good. Hits the front of the iron. South Georgia brings it back down. And that's good. So now we're tied back up. Getting close to the four minute mark. Baldwin getting ready to check in for the Chargers. Nelson got in there and uh, boy, slinging some, Mamadou is slinging some elbows. Underneath. Drive down low, floater, it's no good. Abraham with the basketball. Shoots it out to Conti. Conti thought about, pulls up, off the glass, and good. And rejection. Well, they're gonna call a foul on Abraham. No, was it? Was that on Abraham or was that on? Yeah, it was, that's his third foul. No, it wasn't. They ain't gonna call that on Jason Jones. Abraham with a block. All right, Baldwin comes in, Abraham sits down, and let's see who uh, we've got. Hopkinson is coming in, and Nelson's gonna go out. Give him a little bit of a breather. For the last couple of minutes of the game. No good. South Georgia comes back with the rebound. A little left-handed jump hook is good. Three-point game now. Or, yeah, one-point game, excuse me. And one. There we go. Jake Campaign with a bank shot. 62-61 with one shot. Three-point game. And Israel Mamadou has just, uh, he's loaded with... Uh, some attitude, or I'm not really sure what it was, but ever since he's come into the game, he has just been jawing with the uh, Charger players. His teammates are trying to calm him down, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next three minutes and 13 seconds of this game. Is it a three-point play? Yes, it is. All 
the way across the court. Looking for someone to be open, and that's going to be no good. And let's see, we have a whistle on the play that's going to be a one end. I believe that's going to be called on Hopkinson. I haven't really seen who they call the foul on. They say it was on, was it on Payne? Abraham comes back in and uh, that is on Hopkinson and that was his fifth foul. Now Hopkinson got in trouble. He got in trouble the first half. He had three fouls in the first half. And the front end of the one and one is good. One point game now. And he misses the second one. he bounce the ball around. Conti's going to come up with it. That was knocked around by Jones. And he was able to get it out there to Conti. Having a hard time getting it across the court. Wow, there's hands everywhere. Abraham has it, knocked out of his hands. And they're going to call five seconds. Baldwin's got a apparel issue down on the far, far side. Chargers have a one point lead going to the two and a half minute mark of the game. South Georgia working around. Mamadou's gonna drive, kicks it back out. To Johnson, he moves it around as well. Going to pass it off to Williams. He's going to spin. Shot off the glass, no good. And they're scrambling for the ball. It's going to be a foul on the floor. That is going to be on Johnson. Or I'm sorry, not a foul. It's going to be a timeout. All right. So able to call a timeout right at the last second. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, and uh, you know what? We're going to kind of keep it here as uh, we're getting close to the two-minute mark. So, hey, if you're looking to bring your uh, group to a ball game, uh, listen, just uh, find out about group tickets. Also, if you've got a Little League game or a Little League team that would like to come on out and enjoy it, and even get to shoot the balls at halftime. Uh, today we had several teams come out. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're right behind the Chargers bench, and they uh, kind of filled the court up between games and also at the halftime as well. It's always fun for the whole family. Just give the athletic department a call and say, hey, how can we bring our group of 20 or 30 out here? And they'll tell you. Right now, we have, I have a young fan that wants to uh, get out on the floor. I mean, she's ready to play. Yeah, that's all they do. All right, 2.04 to go. Quick inbounds. And that's going to go off and re rebounded by Conti. South Georgia Tech is swarming all over the Chargers right now. Payne has the ball out front. Going to get off to Conti. A little bit of a trip. Find Baldwin back to Payne. Nine on the shot clock. Abraham comes up and sets the screen. Over to Jones, a floater. Good, Jason Jones. Milking that clock. Minute 21 to go. Turnaround jumper, straight up in the air, no good. Ball will come down with a rebound. Jones has it, Air Jones, baby! Jam! <laughs> 67-62. 
Long three, and that's good. Forty-four point eight seconds. Jones bringing it across the timeline. Down to Baldwin. Up to the top to Conti. Back over to Jones, and he gets hugged and fouled. 33.5 seconds to go in the game. And there's a two-point lead. Every point is precious. This time, this point out is going to be over on the uh, an inbound. And coming back into the game is Jaquan Nelson. And also, I believe Giovanni is getting ready to come in, too. So they're going to send Giovanni in. Baldwin's going to sit out. No, not Baldwin. Abraham's going to, going to go out. Abraham has had an awesome game tonight. Well, several players have had an incredible game. Inbound to Payne. He gets a screen. Goes the other way. Off to Baldwin. And they move the ball back around and he gets tripped and fouled. Nine seconds on the shot clock. And that is gonna be on number two. I believe that is his fifth foul. It is. Dante Williams is out. Ahmad is in. 20 on the shot clock, and there's a timeout. 21 seconds to go. It's getting wild at the corral. It's a two-point game, and uh, Georgia Highlands Chargers are out in front right now against South Georgia Tech Jets. And it has been a wild, crazy night tonight. 21 seconds remaining in the game. And they're going to say he was on the line. That's what they called. 19.9 seconds to go. And they're going to call a full timeout. And we'll take a full timeout too. Don't go anywhere. It is getting kind of crazy here at the crowd. We're back here at the corral, last 17 seconds of this game. And it is getting crazy. South Georgia drives, Dolls take it away. 
Jones has it and is fouled as he crosses the timeline. 8.5 seconds to go. Sixty-seven, sixty-five. Cameron Baldwin out of Ackworth, Georgia, Allerton High School at the line. I'll take that back. Excuse me. That is J. Kim Payne out of Alexander High School, Douglasville. More breathing room. Four-point game. Eight point five, no fouls, no fouls. Here we go. South Georgia throws it out of bounds, but it was tipped, I believe, by a charger. Five seconds to go, and it's a two-possession game. And they're going to whistle. They're going to whistle Cameron Baldwin. Well, you know what? It's not a bad foul. It's not a bad foul. Um, it prevented a, a shot and then another foul. And he just threw that one up there and it actually went in. I think he was just trying to. <laughs> Both teams are in a bonus here in the last five seconds, but we have a three point game now. Now it's a two-point game, so it did stop the clock. Jones, and they're going to have to foul. Now these foul shots are huge. About 1.9 seconds. Go, Jayshon Jones gets into a little discussion at the end, and he's separated by his coach. So at the line to shoot is going to be uh, Jake M. Payne. And he gets everybody back to be on defense. All right, we have two shots. That's a key bucket right there. Now South Georgia Tech takes two players and they put, they put them in the backcourt. And another big one. Just let the game go, just let them go. A long shot and it's going to count. And that's going to be the end of the game. A one point victory by the Georgia Highlands Chargers over South Georgia Tech. Giving South Georgia one or uh, two losses and another big win for the Chargers. What a game! I tell you what, that is uh, one of the one of the better ones. All right, the Chargers are going to be uh, out of town February seventh. Their next game, they're going to be at Albany Tech. The next home game is coming up on February tenth, Saturday, against rival Gordon State College. That's going to be a two p.m. tip off here at the Corral. For everybody here at the Athletic Department, thank you so much for joining us on Charger Basketball. We'll see you next time on the Charger Sports Network.